Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me! Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life. Which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him. His mind. His intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, Sugar Plum. What say you we leave this dang crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. Don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> The haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends, once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well. But no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward, I'll be right behind you. A comely maid. You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? The 
This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Come on. Bloody fine mount. Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> Not so fast, Roach. No sign of her yet. We need to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Oh no, we're not gonna steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. We must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool. But I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. 
I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old heart attack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of your fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan battle, i do anything. Are you a wizard? 